In this exercise, we're going to learn how to use the extrude tool. Before we get started, um, we're going to check on a few things. The first thing is up here on your shelf. You want to make sure your shelf is up. If it's not up, you can go to display and then UI elements and go to shelf right here and that will bring your shelf up. Um, once you have your shelf up, make sure that you are on the polygons tab. If you don't see these shelf tabs, you can go over here to this arrow. You hold down your left mouse button and you can turn your shelf tabs on and off right here. The last thing I want to do is make sure that I'm on the polygons module. So over here in the top left corner, we have the option to switch between different modules and you want to click on polygons. That will change the menu up here at the top. Okay, to begin, let's go to File and then Open Scene. And let's click on ExtrudeTool.mb and then click Open. So what I have here is uh, an, an image that's been placed onto a polygon plane. And uh, these images are giving us a pattern to follow as we learn to use the Extrude Tool. So click on the uh, object in the center of your scene here and hit the F key to frame it. And then let's just dolly out a little bit and let's take a look at this object. So this was a cube and I just scaled it down a little bit. And what we want to learn how to do with the extrude tool is we want to learn how to make more complex shapes out of polygon primitive shapes. In order to do that, we need to break this object down into its components or pieces. So if I look at this object, I can count the number of faces on the object. And like a cube, there are six faces um, on this particular object. I can also break it down by the number of edges. And if you count up the number of edges, you would see that there's 12 edges on this particular object. Another way you could break it down is you could say, well, how many corners are on this object? Any corners or vertices? So how do we get to that mode where we can select the smaller pieces of this object? Because right now, if we try and modify this object, all we can do is move it or scale it or rotate it, right? So I'll just press Z to go back to the original position and then press Q. So the question is, how do we get to the smaller components? Well, if you move your mouse over the object and then hold the right mouse button down, you'll get what's called a marking menu. And this will allow me to switch to um, one of the components of the object. So for example, if I choose Edge and then let go of the right mouse button, now I'm in Edge mode. And as that arrow passes over an edge, it becomes highlighted. Now, if you want to select an edge, you just simply click on it. So there I have that edge selected. And now if I hit W, I can move that edge. And the rest of the object stays in place. So I can select any edge, and I can move it as I like with the Move tool. So if I hold down the right mouse button again, I can try a different component. And let's say, let's go to face. So now I can select a face on the object, and then I can move that face as I like. And remember, just press Z to undo. I'll hold down the right mouse button again, and I'll go to vertex. And now I can select, I can click on these little purple dots and I can select just a vertex on the object and move that in any direction that I like. And I could also select two uh, vertices and move those. As you can see right there. So to get out of component mode, hold down the right mouse button and then go to object mode and release the button. Now, if the object is not selected and you try and right click in the gray area outside of the object, that menu will not pop up. You have to have your mouse over the object and then you'll get that marking menu. If the object is selected, you should be able to click over here and still get the marking menu. But if it's not selected, make sure you move your mouse over the actual object. 
So let's get on to working with the extrude tool. I'm going to hold down the right mouse button and go down to face and then let go of that right mouse button. Then I'm going to click on this face right here and I've got my move tool up. Now, the extrude tool is this button right here on the shelf. I can also access the extrude tool by going to edit mesh extrude. Okay, I'm just going to use the button for now. So I'll press this button just once. Now it looks like nothing happened except for our move tool gizmo changed a little bit, but the shape, the polygon shape that we have didn't change at all. At least it didn't change to our eye. But what it did do is it extruded a new face and we won't see that new geometry until we move this face out. So I'm going to click on this blue arrow. So I'm using my left mouse button. I'm going to click and drag and drag this arrow out and you can see here is the new geometry. It created this new face and four other faces going around to connect it to the uh, original shape right here. Okay. So I'm just going to hit Q for my selection tool and now I'm going to select um, the face down here because I want to extrude and follow this pattern that we have right here. So I'll hit the extrude button and then I'll go over here to this blue arrow and I'm going to click and hold on the blue arrow and then drag down to the edge of the pattern. Okay, and then I'll hit Q for my selection tool once again. Now I'm going to tumble to the other side and um, you can probably guess how to finish this exercise uh, or this shape of course but I want to cover one more point before we do that. If you select a face and you hit the extrude button and you accidentally hit it again, so if let's say I just hit it twice, um, you might think well that's no big deal, I'll just move this face out. Well it can pose a problem uh, in the future because what you have are an additional set of faces that are in between this section right here and this section right here. So in between are a whole other set of faces that are hidden. So I'll show you just by selecting these faces over here. I hit W, move this out. Here's a whole other set of faces. So what we have is extra geometry that we do not need. And we don't want to leave that geometry hidden like that because that will cause problems later down the line when we're finishing up our uh, shape. So what I need to do is I need to hit Z Z as in zebra to undo. So I'll go through here and I can see, okay, so that I know um, I went too far. So I'll go to edit and I'll go redo. And then I'll go back over here. I'll click on this and I'm going to hit the extrude button just once. And I'll go out to the edge of the pattern. Then I'm going to hit Q for my selection tool. I'll select this face, go up to the shelf, hit the extrude button, and drag down to the edge of the pattern right here. Okay, so now we're done editing this object. So I will hold down the right mouse button, and on the marking menu, I will select, or I will just move my mouse over object mode and then release that right mouse button. Okay. So let's go over here to this shape and I'm going to select it and then press the F key to frame it. Okay. So I'm, once again I'm going to move my mouse over the object, hold down the right mouse button and I'm going to go to face. And right here I'm going to select this face and hit extrude. Now as I extrude, I want to follow the pattern. So each extrusion, I'm going to stop when I reach one of these lines. So someone might think, oh, I'm just going to extrude all the way to the edge here. Well that would be fine, except when it comes time to extrude this face out, it won't work because right here you can see now I'm no longer matching up with the pattern. So I'm going to hit Z to undo. And I'm just going to extrude out to this next line right here and then I'll stop. Then I'll just go up here to the shelf and hit extrude again and move out. 
for the next line. Oops, let me see here. Try that one more time. Okay. So now that I've done two extrusions, I can select this face and extrude out this way. And I can see I'm still matching up with the pattern. So I'll hit Q right here, select this face, and I'll hit extrude and go all the way out to the edge of the pattern. So on this side, once again, um, you don't want to extrude all the way out to this edge right here. You want to just extrude to the next line and then hit extrude again. I'm going to now hit Q for my selection tool, select this face over here. I'll hit extrude, go out to this line. I'll once again hit Q for my selection tool, select this face hit extrude, use the blue arrow and go out to the edge of the pattern. Now that I'm done with this pattern, I will hold my mouse, my right mouse button down, make sure my mouse is over the object and go to object mode. Okay, I'm just gonna dolly out here. And let's tackle something a little bit more challenging. I'm going to dolly in on this shape right here. So if we look at this pattern, we can see that it's symmetrical. The shape is the same on both sides. So what we can actually do is we can extrude these faces simultaneously. So I'll hit Q for my selection tool. I'm going to right click and go to face. I'm going to click on this face. So I've selected one face. Now I'm going to tumble to the other side and now I'm going to hold down the shift key on the keyboard with my left hand and then I'll take the mouse and I'll left click on this other face. And by holding down that shift key it allows me to select more than one face at a time. So if I just click on this face and then tumble around and click over here I lost that face because I was not hit. Uh, I was not holding the shift button down. So once again, click on one face, tumble, hold down shift, click on the second face. All right, let's begin by extruding these faces out. So I'm going to hit the extrude button. I'm going to use this blue arrow and move out to the edge of the pattern. Then I'll let go. Then I'm going to hit Q for my selection tool and I'm going to select this face. Move my mouse over to this face. I'm going to hold down the shift key and then click so I can select these two faces. Now I'm going to hit the extrude button and I'm going to go down to this next line. Now you might think uh, we need to adjust this so that it matches up with the pattern but um, I know which tool I'm going to use to get it to match up with that pattern and I'm going to do that at a later stage so you're just going to have to trust me for the next few steps so I'm going to hit extrude one more time I'm going to use the blue arrow to go down now that I have um, the entire shape I'm just going to edit it by clicking on this face here, tumble, hold down shift, click on this face. So now I've got two faces selected and I will press the R key on the keyboard for my scale tool and then I'm simply going to scale this out using the red box and now this shape matches the pattern. So I'm going to hold down the right mouse button, go to object mode and let's finish that. I'm going to dolly out. I'm going to go over here to this pattern right here and then press F to frame it. Dolly out a little bit. I'm going to press Q for my selection tool and hold down the right mouse button and go to face. Let go. Then I'll select the face right here 
and I will tumble over to the other side, hold down the shift key, and select this face. So I have two faces now selected. Now I'm going to hit the extrude button, and I'll use the blue arrow to move these faces out to the edge of the pattern right here. Now I'm going to do something new. Rather than clicking on that red arrow, I'm going to click and drag on that red cube. And that's going to allow me to scale these faces out. And now I'm going to hit Q for my selection tool. And I'm going to select four faces. So I've selected this one face right here. I'm going to hold down shift and select this face. Now I've selected two faces. I can let go of shift and I'm going to tumble to the other side. I want to select two more faces so then I will press the shift key down once again and select the third and fourth face of my choosing here. All right. Now I'm going to extrude these faces out. So I'll hit the extrude button up here and use the blue arrow and move them out. And then I'm going to hit Q for my selection tool once again. I need to select four more faces. So one, hold down shift, two. Now I've released the shift key. I'll tumble around. And then I'll hold down shift again and select the third face and tumble a little more, hold down shift. There we go. And now I'm simply just going to hit the extrude button and use this blue arrow to move the faces out towards the edge of the pattern. So I can see that we're done with this pattern. I'm going to right click on the object and move my mouse over to object mode and then release that right mouse button. I'll select this shape right here, press F to frame it, and just dolly out a little bit. Okay. So um, for this um, shape, I'm going to have to do these extrusions two at a time. I can't do all four at once. So I will right click and go to face, select this face, tumble to the other side, hold down shift, select this face. So I've got two selected. I'll hit extrude, use the blue arrow to move these faces to the edge, and I'm going to this line right here. Then I'm going to use the red box to scale these in and get the this shape right here to match up with that triangular pattern right there. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing with these two faces. So I'll hit extrude. I use the blue arrow, go out. I'm going out to the edge right there. And then I'm going to use the red cube right here to scale in. Okay. So now I've kind of got the star pattern. So I'm going to hit Q for my selection tool, and I'm going to click uh, on this face, hold down Shift, click on the next face. So now I've let go of the Shift key, and I'm going to tumble around. Now in order to continue my selection, I'll hold down the Shift key again. And then I'll tumble around here, hold down the Shift key to select these, tumble around, hold down Shift to select. So now I have eight faces selected. And I'm going to hit the extrude button right here and use this blue arrow to go out to the edge of the pattern. Okay. Once we're done with that, I can right click on the object and go to object mode. And this concludes the extrude tool exercise in unit 2.